Hey, good morning, everyone. Uh, joined with me in prayer and reading of scripture. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy and hear us. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. O Lord, I cry to you for help. In the morning my prayer comes before you. Give me the joy of your saving help again, and sustain me with your bountiful spirit. Let my mouth be full of your praise, and your glory all the day long. Every day will I bless you, and praise your name forever and ever. Awesome things will you show us in your righteousness. O God of our salvation, O hope of all the ends of the earth, and of the seas that are far away, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. He redeems my life from the grave and crowns me with mercy and loving kindness. Lord, hear my prayer and let my cry come before you. Let us pray. Father in heaven, at the baptism of Jesus in the river Jordan, you proclaimed him your beloved Son, and anointed him with the Holy Spirit. Make all who are baptized into Christ faithful in their calling to be your children and inheritors with him of everlasting life, through your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Today's scripture reading uh, comes from the Gospel of John the first chapter beginning in the first verse. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. All things were created through Him, and apart from Him not one thing was created that has been created. In Him was life, and that life was the light of men. That light shines in the darkness, and yet the darkness did not overcome it. There is a man sent from God whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify about the light, so that all might believe through him. He was not the light, but he came to testify about that light. The true light that gives light to everyone was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world was created through him, and yet the world did not recognize him. He came to his own, and his own people did not receive him. But all who did receive him, he gave them, he gave them the right to be children of God, to those who believe in his name who were born not of natural descent, or of the will of the flesh, or of the will of man, but of God. The Word became flesh and dwelt among us. We observed His glory, the glory as the one and only Son from the Father, full of grace and truth. John testified concerning Him and exclaimed, This was the one of whom I said, The one coming after me ranks ahead of me, because He existed before me. Indeed, we have all received grace upon grace from His fullness. For the law was given through Moses, grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. No one has ever seen God, the one and only Son, who is himself God, and is at the Father's side. He has revealed him. Wow. <laughs> this is a very, very good uh, passage in the Gospel of John, telling us who Christ is. He's the Word of God, the living Word of God. If we want to know what God is like, look to Jesus, because there we see it. We see God. We see uh, what he looks like, what he sounds like, and what he says to humanity. You're forgiven. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for what you've done uh, for us through Christ. The incarnate word breathed out before all time the word that hovered over the waters, the word that proclaimed to Pharaoh, let my people go, and the word given to all of us, that we are your children, that we are forgiven, 
and that you hold us fast. Lord, we ask that you strengthen our faith in these promises and that you, you guide us into a new life. We ask all these things through Jesus Christ. Amen. We give thanks to you, Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have protected us through the night from all danger and harm. We ask you to preserve and keep us this day also from all sin and evil that in all our thoughts, words, and deeds we may serve and please you. Into your hands we commend our bodies and souls and all that is ours. Let your holy angels have charge of us, that the wicked one have no power over us. Amen. Let us bless the Lord, friends. Thanks be to God. The Lord Almighty order our days and our deeds in his peace. Amen.